Hello everyone, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts with your intuitive channel message for today. So we'll start off like we always do with letters and names as well as zodiac signs and see what the messages are that come forward. And it is general advice as always, so please keep that in mind throughout this message and take from it as always what makes sense for you. Release what doesn't. All right, so let me go ahead and see what the energies are here today. Letters, I'm seeing two A's. So very typical, either your name starts with an A or your person starts with an A. Both of you have A names. Somebody's got a couple of A's in their name. I'm seeing S, I, and an A. Someone's name could actually be Sia or have S-I-A in their name. T, L, E, G, two G's actually coming through here. That reminds me of Greg, you know, G-R-E-G-G -G -G, spelled with two G's at the end or Greg has two G's. So that could be, I don't know why that's coming through or somebody's name could have a couple of G's there. And same thing applies. Maybe both of you guys have names that start with a G or have G's in it. Let me see what names I'm able to pick up here. I'm hearing Benjamin and different forms of Benjamin, Benny, Ben, spelled B-E-N-N-Y and then B-E-N-N-I-E. -E. I'm also hearing Bonnie, Jean coming through, various forms of Jean, Janine, Jeannie, I'm also hearing Jazz or Jazlyn or Jazleen. Valerie coming through today. This is a rare name. It could be somebody's nickname. I'm hearing Van or Vanji. I'm hearing Tyler. Somebody's name could nickname could be Ty, also T Y. Ty or Tyler. I'm hearing Issa or Issa. I S S A or I S E or I S A coming through. So that could either be someone's name, nickname, or be a part of someone's name. Similar to Melissa, something like that. Alyssa is also coming through. Spelled A-L-I-S-A -S 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 as well as A-L-Y-S-S-A. -S -S so I'm picking up off of those names here. And then Zach or Zachary coming through as well. Okay, so let's take a look at some signs. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm losing my voice here. Too many readings today, too much talking. <laughs> but let's see what the signs are. Taurus, Scorpio, Pisces, Aquarius, Cancer, Virgo, and Libra. Okay, so let's start with the messages and what's presenting itself here. I can hear the words very clearly, I miss you. You know who this is. I'm seeing the number three and the number four. That could indicate how long it's been since you guys have seen each other. It could be something as simple as three to four days, but it's more so longer than that, three to four months. And for some of you, it could even stretch as far as three to four years. That could be a time frame. 
It could also indicate when you might be able to see each other, maybe in three to four months or three to four weeks, you know, any, any time frame that could present itself here. But they are thinking about you. And when you think about them, they feel your energies very strongly. And I know this might seem weird for some of you guys. You might have like a favorite perfume or cologne or lotion, whatever it is. It's something that you love and it's a scent that they associate with you. And when they think about you, they'll pick up off of that scent like randomly. Maybe that's something that you can relate to for yourself. For your person, a favorite scent. I'm picking up off of cinnamon. I don't know if that's somebody's favorite spice. There's something about that flavor. Maybe this person uses a lot of cinnamon in their food. And their desserts or their drinks. But there's something about cinnamon that's popping up here. Don't quite know what that is. Peppermint as well. I mean, we are in the holiday season here. That could certainly be very holiday-ish in flavors. But I'm picking up here that that's somebody's favorite thing. They either think about you when... I'm just getting like somebody has a drink, a favorite drink with cinnamon or peppermint, like a minty type coffee or tea, and they drink it and they think about you and they feel really nostalgic. It makes them really happy when they think about you, but at the same time, it causes them to feel really lonely and melancholy because they miss you so much and they would want nothing more than to be able to reconnect with you. My angel guides are wanting to communicate here that there's actually nothing too substantial that's standing in the way of you guys coming together. The only blockages that are here are the ones that you place upon yourselves to either prevent communication, reconnection, or a union. It doesn't matter if they live in a different country, different state, city, whatever it is. They could live right next door to you. It doesn't matter. And it doesn't even matter how long it's been since you guys have reconnected or talked or interacted. They think about you all the time. They miss you. For some of you guys, maybe they're waiting for you to reach out to them. But I'm also getting for those of you who are tuning in. You want them to do the reaching out. So whoever needs to step it up and take that first step, that's what's needed in order for union or a reunion to happen, possibly during the holiday season. Because there really isn't much of a barrier that I am picking up preventing you guys from at least talking. It could be something as simple as a phone call, a text, or them reaching out to you on social media. Something as simple as, hi, I miss you. Can we talk? Or if something happened between the two of you where you're either hurt or you're angry, perhaps you're wanting them to apologize for something that they did, or it could go the other way around. All of those things are possible. I'm also getting for some of you that forgiveness needs to happen. There were definitely hurt feelings here for some of you that are in separation. And my angel guides want me to tell you to follow your heart. What feels right for you? Do what feels right for you. If you're comfortable reaching out, then reach out. If you're comfortable just allowing life to happen and waiting for them to reach out to you, then you got to do what feels right in your heart. 
But I can tell you that if you resonate with this, the person that you are thinking about, they think about you. If, if there were more than 24 hours in a day, they'd think about you every second of every day. If there were 25 hours in a day, 48 hours in a day, every single one of those seconds in that day, you're a part of their thoughts. They go about their day, they work, they get up, they brush their teeth, wash their face, take a shower, doesn't matter. You're always on their mind. I'm picking up too for those of you who are in separation. They definitely have regrets over the last time you guys spoke. They held themselves back from saying what it was that they needed to say. And for some of you, the very thing that they really needed to say was to tell you that they loved you. And they missed an opportunity to do so. And that's one of their biggest regrets. Because it's in their heart. They feel it to this day. But they never said it. And I'm getting for this person that it's kind of eating away at them until they finally build up the courage to just reach out and say it, whether you ever take them back or not. This is something that in time, they need to get it off their chest. It might have to start off with an apology or an offer of forgiveness, but I feel the main thing that they really want to tell you is that they love you. That's their biggest regret, that they never told you or that they just didn't show it as much as they felt it in their heart. So maybe in three to four months, three to four weeks for some of you, you'll hear from this person. All right, guys, so that's what I'm getting here today. Whoever it is you're thinking about, they think about you too, and they miss you so, so much. Okay, so that's where I'm gonna leave this one, and I will be back tomorrow with more intuitive channeled messages.